Uh, my name is Min Gyu Kim from South Korea. Uh, I'm a principal researcher of Korea Atomic Energy Research Institute. Actually, this is a uh, very bad situation for my presentation. Uh, I'm the last presenter, and uh, uh, my presentation is uh, uh, actually a little bit out of scope uh, of this uh, session, the serviceability, and uh, there are some musics in the beside the room. So I tried to finish it uh, within my time. Uh, the title of my presentation is Development of Structural Integrity Assessment Technologies for a Concrete Containment Structure Under Ultimate Pressure Condition. Uh, this is the contents of my presentation. I will explain what is the Iron City later. Yeah, because this is my first time to participate in ACI convention, I, I'd like to very briefly show uh, my institute. Kairi is a Korea Atomic Energy Research Institute. Kairi has world-class expert <laughs> employees and uh, funding from the government uh, and the industry, something like that. This is a little bit old information. Uh, now we, uh, we are uh, 1,800 uh, people in my institute and uh, almost 1,000 PhD researchers in my institute. So uh, many of the fundings from the, uh, the government and uh, some industry support uh, our researches. Uh, there are many research facilities. Uh, Carries uh, R&D covers a very wide spectrum of scientific, engineering, and technical activities supported by the uh, utilization of a large research facility at the three sites and one provisional site. Uh, we have uh, one research reactor and a very large thermal hydrology test facility and a uh, post-irradiation ex examination uh, facility and also hostel and there's uh, some KURT. KURT means a research facility for uh, geological disposal. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I'm a division director of structural and seismic safety research division in my institute. My, uh, my, my division is only 20 researchers for the structural and seismic engineer. Yeah, this is the background of my research. Recently, we, we experienced a very large earthquake in 2016 and in 2017. This was the uh, largest earthquake we ever uh, observed in Korean Peninsula, and this is the second largest. One, one important thing is in this earthquake, the uh, four nuclear power plant units was shut down, a uh, manual shut down, even though the uh, measure, the ground, uh, peak ground motion is not uh, exceeded OB rebel. And uh, in 2020, the heavy rainfall in Korea, actually the longest period of rainy season, 54 days, uh, during that time, uh, there are heavy rainfall across the Korean Peninsula, not a specific area, more than 300 millimeter rainfall, and uh, also local intense precipitation like a skull, uh, more than 100 millimeter per hour uh, occurred in many times in Korean Peninsula. Uh, we thought that this is because of climate change. After finishing the uh, rainy season, uh, we have uh, 10 uh, 10 typhoons attacked the Korean Peninsula. Especially uh, only in August, uh, seven typhoons in, uh, occurred in, uh, attacked the uh, Korean Peninsula. Because of the typhoon, some nuclear power plant was shut down. Uh, especially the shutdown due to problem of offsite power causing a uh, flashover. This was a, a very new uh, phenomena. Uh, some one initiating event for the uh, shutdown of nuclear power plant. And the uh, second thing is a containment degradation. Uh, we uh, recently found many, several boys found in the containment building at the lower part of a very depleted reinforcement and around the penetration area and the lower part of the polar crane bracket. So, and also we found uh, some uh, corrosion of line plate. So it is very important to leakage prediction of the containment uh, structures. So uh, because of that kind of reason, we started this uh, very big research project from 2022. Uh, it's focused on the three parts, uh, the IONS EV and the IONS EQ, IONS CT. IONS means the integrated researches on the nuclear safety. IONS EV focuses on the extreme and combined external event like uh, 
uh, typhoon or high wind, something like that. And the IONS EQ focus on the uh, beyond design earthquake, and IONS CT is focused on the containment structure integrity. So today I'd like to talk about the IONS CT. <coughs> The background of the ion CT is a containment structure is a final barrier of a radioactive uh, material uh, in a CV extent. CV extent means a core melt. The, so we, we saw the Fukushima nuclear extent uh, result in a large release of uh, radioactive materials into the environment. The lessons from the past CV extent, structural integrity of containment, containment building remained uh, intact. Um, intact and held most of the radioactive materials. Catastrophic failure result in release of large radioactive materials. Structural integrity of containment building need to be assessed with the evaluation of radioactive materials released in the environment. Uh, we, ha we already have three uh, nuclear power plant uh, severe accident we experienced. Uh, this is the first one, the 1979 the TMI uh, and nuclear power plant in the United States, and Chernobyl in Russia, and uh, Fukushima in Japan. In this case, even though the severe accident occurred, but uh, containment integrity, uh, so no radioactive material released outside the environment, but uh, all of us already know, uh, in the case of Fukushima accident, because of containment destroy, the hu huge amount of radioactive material released in the outside of the uh, environment. So uh, because of this, uh, there are some experiment evaluation of the ultimate pressure capacity, we call the UPC, performed before. So Sandia National already performed the 2001, and also French EDF uh, performed the Vericos project in 2015, the one of a three scale containment building for IRLT test and leakage prediction. Um, there are some, some references regarding uh, uh, this, this test, RECAID 1.7 and uh, RECAID 1.216 provides us a regulatory position from the United States, and then NUREG uh, 1150 defined a failure mode, uh, leak and rupture, and the catas catastrophic rupture, something like that. So in Korean uh, nuclear power plant, uh, the line of plate corrosion and the cavity in the contained more war have become urgent issue. So you could uh, critical pass over leak leakage in CV extent. The containment volume nodalization is limited for the leakage simulation through cracked containment war. So the purpose of this resource is to develop a containment leak model and to propose a leak based criteria for UPC and UPC facility. Um, to, uh, to evaluate the radioactive material released to the environment in connection with the CV external code. So I'd like to briefly show the, the, what is the iron CT. So actually my presentation is not a specific the technique and not specific methodology, but uh, for overall overview of the whole uh, my research project as a, as a project, project leader. Uh, this, start, this project started in 2022 and will finish in 2029. This, this is an eight-year research project. Um, and this is the roadmap of the whole research project. CARI is a leading organization of the whole research, and there are many universities and uh, there are many companies participated for the, uh, this, this uh, research project. The divided the three, phase one and phase two and phase three. Phase one is uh, roughly for the model development and the phase two is for the uh, verification and phase three is for the UPC fragility calculation. Yeah, um, um, yeah uh, 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 I already mentioned uh, this thing and the, the key word of the, uh, this research is uh, uh, cracking, damage, uh, leak rate, and material degradation, ultimate pressure capacity, and fragility evaluation, containment building, and rebel to PSA. Yeah, I'd like to show uh, uh, to each items one by one. Now, first thing is a uh, containment integrity. Containment structure represents final barrier of radioactive materials in the severe accident. 
the main objective is to develop the containment the leakage model based on the finite element model, considering a CV accident. CV, uh, this is a containment model uh, using the uh, CV accident analysis. We, uh, we define the stress-strain relation and crack simulation and uh, also leak simulation. And after that, uh, ultimate pressure structure integrity we can find, we could, we, we could find and the containment uh, leakage model. So for the uh, performing uh, this kind of research, first we should develop this uh, numerical model, 3D PCCB modeling. The development of 3D finite element model for UPC analysis. For the two, we the target model is the two. Uh, the one thing is APR 1400, and the second is OP, OPR 1000. Uh, considering the penetration also and nonlinear material model for concrete liner, rebar, tendon, and also uh, this is the whole content model. But uh, we also developed a sub model for vulnerable part, sub model for war near equipment hatch, and uh, for estimation of capacity from local behavior. So, like uh, this this kind of sub model. And next next thing is a uh, UPC fragility. Uh, the fr failure for the UPC fragility, we should determine the failure mode and failure criteria. And failure mode, failure mode we, 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 we can uh, divide the leak and rupture and the catastrophic rupture based on the literature and uh, required 1.216. In the, in the phase one, we just use the, the re, re, literature's uh, de definition for the, of the uh, failure criteria. And also, when we perform the uh, fragility, uh, we, also, we consider the uncertainty, failure criteria, and the material property, including material degradation, and also pre stress of tendon, pre stress of loss. So, so, when we perform the level to PSA, uh, this, uh, this fragility uh, result is for the input of the level to PSA. So, this is the, uh, the schematic diagram for the frigid calculation. This is one example of the frigid result. Based on the literature review, uh, we decide the uh, failure mode and failure criteria. Finally, we determine the, like uh, this kind of uh, uh, ultimate pressure capacity, frigidity, using uh, separation of variable method. Uh, in the case of liner plate and the, the tendon. And uh, this is the numerical model for concrete fracture. So numerical simulation to predict nonlinear fracture behavior of concrete material specimen. Uh, like, like this kind of numerical simulation, so we, we, we try to determine the, how, how uh, the crack, the propagation, uh, considering the uh, 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 um, how can I say? Okay. Uh, uh, correct pro propagation. And for the verification, we are also performed this kind of small scale uh, the test. And also, this, uh, this one is experimental analysis of leakage flow through con concrete crack. So, uh, this is uh, some video for the crack propagation. And uh, this is uh, for the numerical analysis of fluid driven crack propagation. Not, not just crack itself, and uh, in, in this time, the uh, fluid, fluid, fluid pressure added for the uh, crack, propaga crack propagation. And this is a numerical model of the leakage behavior. So we performed the uh, computational fluid dynamics, CFT analysis to model uh, leakage flow through the concrete crack. Uh, this is a uh, uh, assumed con concrete uh, crack, and using the CFT analysis, uh, we try to develop how how could the, uh, some uh, radioactive material uh, uh, pass through the the containment wall. And uh, the, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, for the verification of the, our the numerical analysis. We performed the experimental test of leakage behavior. So uh, this test is performed uh, uh, our, our, one of our colleagues, uh, 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 University, University of Toronto. 
uh, we collaborated uh, with the University of Toronto for performing uh, this test. So leakage experiment through cracks in concrete hollow cylinder specimen. So defining control parameter that affect the rate of the leakage through con uh, concrete cracks and driving uh, crack leakage characterization curve. And uh, this is for the CV accident scenario analysis. Uh, this is for the uh, so, uh, nuclear engineer. So um, I, I can skip uh, this slide. So uh, this is what I want to say. The, well, actually, we, our hope is uh, when we finish our research pro project, the major outputs are the computational framework to predict uh, concrete cracking in containment building and the uh, evaluation of environmental leakage rate for the nuclear power plants, and de defining correlation between concrete crack and leakage, and frigid evaluation for leak failure considering concrete fracture. Thank you very much for your kind attention.